sorry, Paris Hilton, but these pooches aren't likely to fit in your purse. Great Dane. Great Danes weren't always the tallest breed of dog. In fact, their modern stature is actually owed to their ancestral heritage, having evolved over time from their lightweight ancestors in Denmark crossed with English mastiffs in the 16th century to make them better hunters. More recently, Great Danes don't come much greater than Giant George, who earned world records for tallest dog after growing to a whopping 43 inches. Before his death in 2013, George's massive size led to a multimedia takeover that included media appearances in The Oprah Winfrey Show and Live with Regis and Kelly, and even a book, Giant George, Life with the World's Biggest Dog. Whip It if the Whippet breed is known as the poor man's racehorse for its muscle-bound, sinewy strength, then Wendy would presumably be a suitable racehorse equivalent for someone of at least average income. While most Whippets boast an impressive muscle tone to go along with their breathtaking speed, the 27-kilogram rippling mass of jacked muscle that was Wendy could be positively intimidating running towards you at up to 60 kilometers an hour. Despite her visual presence and a bully moniker that references her double-muscled physique more so than her temperament. Wendy, who has since passed away, was gentle and loved to cuddle. Turkish Kangal Good thing that the Turkish Kangal guardian breed is friendly, calm, and highly socialized. Despite standing at an average height of 30 to 32 inches and weighing up to 150 pounds, the powerful legs of the Kangal still enables them to reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. It is because of those strong legs and affectionate disposition that Kangals can tend to comically climb up on their hind legs and drape themselves over their often shorter owners, making for a rather lovable handful. English Mastiff the Great Dane isn't the only dog breed that can produce some pretty massive pups. Zorba is an English Mastiff, and you could say he's a massive Mastiff. At the time of his measurements in November 1989, an eight-year-old Zorba was listed as eight foot three inches from his nose to the tip of his tail and weighed 343 pounds, earning him the long-standing Guinness World Record for largest dog ever. Zorba has long since passed away, but his legacy lives on unmatched, with few coming close to measuring up in the years since. Another Another English Mastiff named Moose made the media rounds, but only reached 291 pounds on the scale. Newfoundlands Bred originally from, you guessed it, Newfoundland, these working dogs were never intended to be hunting dogs like most larger breeds. Instead, they served to help local fishermen using their large, muscly frame to haul nets and lines from boats, pull carts, and most importantly, fetch anything that falls overboard, including people. Earlier this year, a Heritage Memorial Park in Newfoundland erected a statue in honor of Sergeant Gander, a Newfoundland dog and World War II hero who died in action during the Battle of Hong Kong while saving the lives of Canadian soldiers. St. Bernard The most famous dog among the large, furry St. Bernard breed is probably Beethoven, the titular star of the popular family movie series. True to Hollywood form, St. Bernards can be a boisterous handful, particularly with regards to their status as one of the heavier dog breeds around. Presently, a St. Bernard pup named Benedictine holds the world record for the heaviest dog ever, tipping the scales at 357 pounds. This is considerably larger than the already hefty typical standards of the breed, with most St. Bernards weighing between 140 and 220 pounds. Irish Wolfhound Although the breed offers no known contenders for individual height records, Irish Wolfhounds are widely viewed as the tallest breed of dogs on average, with most males ranging between 33 and 36 inches. Their robust muscular build also allows male Wolfhounds to reach the stature of a small pony. As quick, powerful, and intelligent hunters, these towering pooches can still punch above their weight class when it comes to battling bigger game. Despite being mostly docile and friendly in demeanor, they have been known to help in the hunting of wolves and boars. Dog de Bordeaux the large, noble Dog de Bordeaux carries a rich, dignified history befitting its name. One of the most ancient French dog breeds, its muscular stature has been put to work in a number of different capacities. It has been used as a guard dog for livestock, has been trained to carry heavy objects, and has even guarded the castles of European elite. Though not particularly tall, the muscle mass of the Dog de Bordeaux contributed to an average weight of over 150 pounds. They can also be distinguished by their distinctively large heads, believed to be the largest in the canine world. Leonberger. 
The massive German bred Leon Berger doesn't need any help looking large, but it gets it anyway from generous water resistant double coats of fur. It is their giant size coupled with their wild shaggy coat and a kind playful demeanor that has earned them the nickname the Gentle Lion. These loyal, intelligent dogs named for the German town of Leonberg reach an average of 30 inches in height and about 150 pounds in weight. Despite their size, Leon Bergers are considered to be great family pets, but they also happen to carry unfortunately short lifespans of just seven years. Pitbull. Pitbull Terriers tend to get a bad rap as vicious, aggressive pets that are outlawed in a number of countries around the world, including the UK. Owners of Pitbulls, however, are quick to rail against such stereotypes, arguing that they are tame and even friendly when treated with proper care, training, and supervision. Even then, how many people would be willing to test that theory with Hulk? Even by the typical powerful standard of pit bulls, Hulk is an absolute force who is approaching 200 pounds in weight despite being just over two years old. We hope you'd enjoyed this video and want to pet all of the dogs. Here's some other videos we think you might like, and don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks!